Multiple contact! Yeah! <laughs> Fuck off! What is going on, Freaks? My name is Freaky, and I'm gonna be showing you guys in this video how to upgrade the Ancient of Wrath. Let's fucking upgrade some shit, guys. Let's fucking do it. If you don't know how to get uh, the uh, Wrath of the Ancients, which is the uh, bow and arrow, then I'm sorry, but uh, basically you just need to feed uh, the dragons. It's not that hard. It's like seven zombies a piece. It's, it's really not that difficult. Uh, anyways, we're gonna be upgrading uh, the Lightning Bow to begin with. You wanna shoot that Weather Vane. Get that out of the way. It'll pop out of the wall. You grab that arrow, and now you're going to the next step. Now you want to shoot these little wood piles that are kind of scattered around the map. The first one's by the bell tower. Uh, and uh, then finally, once you get that one, you want to go all the way over here and get this one by spawn. That one's probably the most difficult, to be perfectly honest. If you don't have a good shot, this might take you a while. And then uh, the third one is going to be down by the rocket ship. Uh, you just need to shoot that one. It's not that difficult. And then uh, when you're done with that little step, you want to go down that anti-gravity wall run across these little wind tablets that are all over the wall. You want to make sure you're doing these in, in sync. Just don't miss any one of these because you're going to make the app Avatar very angry because that's what we're doing. It, it, did you guys watch that show? The Avatar was an amazing show. It really, really was. And after you're done doing those tablet steps, you want to go and find these urns. They'll be all scattered around the map. There's only three of them. There's one in the bell tower, one over here by this uh, jump tablet right over above Jugs. And once you collected all the souls for the first one, uh, you want to make your way down to the little firewood uh, pile that you shot earlier. And uh, you want to repeat the step all over again. And this one may take you a while, especially if you're not a good shot. So you want to make sure you're a good shot. Just, just saying that. Now, the one in the bell tower, pretty easy. You might want to do these on lower rounds. Uh, especially because uh, if you get crowded in these rooms whatsoever, you're going to get kind of fucked over. And you don't want that to happen. So once you got the bell tower done, you do the same freaking step. Go get that uh, little wood pile that's burning. Shoot it. And then a little tornado electricity thing happens. Now, the final one is going to be down by the rocket ship. Who would have guessed? Because it's right by the other wood pile that we just started earlier. Now, once you got that one done, guess what you got to do? You got to freaking shoot it. Fantastic. Now, once you got that done, you want to go back to the weather vane. Uh, and uh, there'll be a little electricity thing going on. Hold square X on it. It'll levitate up to the weather vane. And uh, then it'll just poop out a little uh, little arrow that you got. And you pretty much got it done. Now you want to take this down uh, to the temple area. Put it in the little box there. And you want to feed it souls. A lot of souls. It probably takes like 25 souls, 15 souls. I don't know. I don't really keep count of these things. Um, but it takes a lot of souls. It's very hungry. Just like uh, the dragons were earlier. It's, uh, it's kind of a, uh, a tedious step. But once you get it, put the bow back in there. And you grab it out. It's pretty freaking amazing. This is actually probably one of my favorite bows. Yeah, but it does make torso things that run at you uh, without any legs, so watch out for that one. Secondly, we're going to be working on the war bow, which is going to be fantastic. It's, this one's pretty difficult. Uh, you want to go around the map, find the paintings, uh, and uh, they're going to be scattered along the map. Just look exactly how I'm doing in the video, but you'll have to get them in order. So every time I did this, they were in different order, so make sure you uh, do them in order. It's pretty simple. There's only four of them. Uh, and then uh, once you get that done, the little uh, war area will open up and you can grab the arrow out of there. Shoot down uh, this skull by the rocket ship. You just shoot right at the flag and then the skull will come down. It's actually a wolf skull. You want to take this back to the Templar and then uh, this little this little ghosty uh, wolf uh, will spawn. And you have to follow it around and sniff some shit in the ground. You got to collect souls into it because apparently that's a thing. And uh, the, the wolf will be very happy if you do this. And it'll go back, eat some of its shit. And then you have to grab uh, this little skeleton thing. And I don't know why there's skeletons in the ground, but there's skeletons in the ground. Do it once again. You got to follow the dog. Make sure you're following it. If you don't follow it, it will disappear and you'll have to respawn it again, which kind of sucks. And you'll have to follow all over again. That one, I got a little chest piece, and then you'll follow it all the way down by the Pack-a-Punch area in the Templar area, and uh, just wait until the dog, you know, decides to, hey, and let's go back and dig it all up again, because you just, just fed it some souls. Uh, this whole map is just souls and souls and souls and souls. And uh, once he's done digging it back up, I'm pretty sure this one's a skull or something, and then you just go and grab it, and uh, you want the anti-gravity to be on again, and then you'll see this little area, the wolf will spot it out, you want to shoot your arrow into there until a little ledge will appear, and then you want to hop your way up there, hop your way onto the ledge, and press X or square on there, and then the skeleton will form, and then you'll grab your arrow that you 
desperately needed. And now you want to take this back to the little uh, sacrifice area and uh, just rinse and repeat, guys. Just rinse and repeat. And basically just collect souls, put your arrow back in there, and uh, guess what? You got a freaking war bow. Freaking fantastic, isn't it? It's amazing, I know. This one's not as good as the rest of them, I'm just going to be honest. Uh, the next one is going to be uh, the uh, Void Bow. Now this, you want to shoot by uh, the ceiling right next to the Double Tap. And uh, a little arrow will fall down, just hold square X on it. And then you'll find this glowing tablet. You want to, or a little tile, I guess you should say. And uh, knife the zombie on it. Knife it. If you don't knife it, it's not going to activate. You need to knife it. So do this on low rounds. And then hold square X on the urn. It'll go up into the sky. And now you need to find these skulls. There'll be one uh, down in the cave area. Uh, there'll be another one by the window up by the castle. One by double tap right over here. And another one in Sam's room right in uh, the little trunk there. Uh, one by the rocket in the back of the truck. And one in the sink by the teleporter and now you want to bring crawlers because apparently these skulls are hungry for crawlers and they want to eat these crawlers and once you bring a lot of crawlers down here you're gonna want to bring six down to be exact then all the souls will go up to yes you heard it again souls will go up to uh, their urn and then these little skulls will form and uh, basically uh, it's gonna tell you uh, his name and uh, this one I got I think it was door horn and crown and uh, you need to go into the castle and find these knights that are going to kind of relate to uh, the name that he just selected. And you're going to have to remember these symbols. So make sure you're writing them down or something. Or just, just take note at it. If you don't have a good memory, write it down. Because uh, it'll be really annoying if you don't do this step. Now, what you need to do after doing that, once you've figured out the symbols, you got to go through a round of zombies. And you got to pick up these symbols. Make sure you're trying to get the symbols as fast as possible. And then, what you know, you got to say his name. So you got to shoot his name in the correct order of the symbols that he was given to you. If you don't do this correctly, he'll get very angry and pissed at you and start, like, having these skulls attack you. Now, finally, you go up to it once that's done, and uh, a little arrow will pop out of this little blue purpley uh, thing here, and then you grab it, and you're pretty much good to go. Now you go back down to the Templar, and uh, guess what? Uh, you can put it in the sacrifice altar, and then boom! You collect souls, you put the bow back in there, and you got the Void Bow, which is actually probably one of the most OP ones since there's skulls that come out of everywhere, and they pretty much just destroy every living thing. Now, the one that I hate the most, the one that's the most difficult, is the fire bow, which you're about to see right now. It took me the longest to do. I don't know my freaking idea. Um, so, you basically shoot the, uh, the little wall in the uh, bell tower. And you want to go down to the rocket area, make sure Tess goes off, and sit right by the door. And then you got to go outside the door and shoot this little fiery rock really, really quickly. Because if you don't do it really quickly, it's going to go away and you're not going to be able to do it. And you have to wait all over again and it's going to suck. So make sure you do that as quick as possible. Now, uh, basically, you want to shoot these little pepperoni nipple circles uh, that will start on fire. You want to go through the jump pads here because if you miss any of these uh, things, you're going to have to keep jumping, wasting points, and it's just very annoying. This step actually took me the longest to do, so make sure you're getting a whole bunch of points and doing these correctly and not missing. Make sure you have a good shot. Now, once you got all these pepperoni nipple circle things lit up, you want to sit inside the circle, I repeat, inside the circle, to get the souls. Yes, more souls to be collected. And once it's collected, uh, Sunny D will squirt out of one of them and go towards this little sunball you created in the middle, which is amazing. I don't know how we're not burning alive right now, but we created a freaking sun. <sighs> Holy crap. And then the last one right here uh, is right across from the bell tower. You want to get that one done. Then go back up to the bell tower. Uh, work that clock until uh, a little pattern comes up and it'll show to you. Remember this because this is uh, showing where you need to shoot uh, this rock. And this rock is only uh, going to happen once you shoot uh, a zombie and then a rock will form inside of that pepperoni nipple. Then uh, work your way to the fireplace with the bow. You have three chances. I repeat, three chances to do this. So if you do mess up, you're going to have to do a whole round all over again. So make sure you get that uh, in three shots into the fireplace that coordinated to uh, the symbol that you were given earlier. Now, kill a zombie under this fireball and then hold X or square and bing bada boom. Apparently, the sun is getting angry and it explodes. It doesn't turn into a black hole, sadly, but it explodes and then it'll give you the bow. Now, just rinse and repeat, guys. Go back down to the Templar and put it into the uh, little case there. And then you put your bow in there and what do you know? You got a fire bow. So, I hope you guys did enjoy. This was uh, an exciting upgrade of the uh, Wrath of the Ancients. 
and uh, this will definitely help you out uh, for getting to further rounds. So to be honest, I really like the fire bow and uh, the void bow and the electricity bow. The war bow kind of sucks. I wish it would have shot out uh, a whole bunch of wolves or something to attack, but it, it doesn't. So hope you guys enjoy. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'll have a whole bunch of cool zombie videos coming soon. And I guess I'll catch your freaky faces in the next video. We just upgraded some shit. Let's go. I bust out the helicopter.